There are lots of lots important things inside the enemies animation maker this is the last video on enemies animation maker if you don't know how can you learn the enemies animation maker and if you want more content on this topic please let me know in the comment sections and i'm making a video series on my youtube channel from few days so you can check my playlist and from my youtube channel okay so if you are also trying to learn the enemies animation uh, maker from scratch and if you are trying to create animation then this is the right video for you in this video i'm going to the discuss about the all the settings uh, and the all the things about the enemies animation maker in this video you will learn to uh, uh, alignment in the uh, enemies animation maker and you will learn uh, the how can you remove the background and how can you record the audio inside your enemies animation maker everything else uh, which uh, will be going to cover in this video just you have to watch this video to know everything else in this video hello everyone welcome back to in my youtube channel it's me dipesh rai if you are watching this video first time do subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get uh, all the notifications from my youtube channel so without any late let's begin our tutorial so guys welcome back to in my computer screen so today also i'm going to teach you about the important features and and the important settings which is available inside the enemies animation maker so guys now you can see here so first of all let's uh, talk about the alignment so uh, when you will add some uh, shapes or you will add some images or you will add some uh, types of uh, your uh, some types of images and some things else you will put inside uh, your timeline so you can uh, align this one from your align middle okay or you can align to the bottom you can align to the center different kind of uh, uh, alignment positions available here so you can use uh, this kind of feature which will uh, shape your time okay so now you can see here there is a lock obstacle if you want to draw Put the lock so after uh, putting in the right position so after this you have to, you can lock your object so after this you cannot uh, move this one so it's moving but uh, now you can see here your default camera is moving your object is not moving right now okay so I'm just putting my camera here and now you can see here, here is a lock option if I click here it will be unlocked okay so if you want to delete object just click here and you can clear the, the object rotation and you can so sometime you will rotate uh, this shape like this right so if i click in the clear object orientation now you can see here my rotation uh, came back in my previous position uh, so i can fix the object position also okay so uh, and I can change the fix the width also from here okay and I can zoom here from here and I can zoom out from here okay different kind of things available inside here so uh, this kind of options we have already covered in our previous video you can check my playlist okay so let's go to inside the camera so if you press shift plus c or if you directly click in the camera so now you can see your camera is showing and hiding okay so from here you can uh, make it small okay and you can make it large also from here so my now you can see here my camera is showing in this side okay so the next option is background so if you want to show or hide so in this time my background is not showing in my timeline so if i click inside the background now you can see here there is a uh, new option available inside the background so if i click inside the plus button so now you can see here there are lots of lots of background available you can use the simple you can use landscape persons video line or those different kinds or you can use the 
background color also so if i want to use the yellow color just click here and now you can see here there is a yellow background available inside my timeline okay so another option also available that is foreground so from the foreground also you can use different kind of things which is which will make uh, such a good things so now you can see here there are different kind of things it depends on your internet speed uh, in this time my internet speed is not good that's why i think it is not looking good so if i click here i think it will download so there are uh, different kind of effects available which will help you to make different kind of uh, attractive animation from the foreground also so now you can see here it's loading it will take a little bit time it depends on your computer speed uh, the foreground also make your uh, okay so it's telling me that content overflow extent uh, okay if i click in the no what will happen if i click in the into oh my god so now you can see here here is i think uh, now you can see in this side here is a foreground right so you can also use this kind of the this kind of amazing type of effects which is available inside the foreground so another is subtitle if, if you want to create a subtitle in that time you can type so i'm just typing this is this is subtitle and if i click in the save so now you can see here this is subtitle okay so you can increase and decrease the length from here okay so this is also amazing so so now you can see here there is another option available that is a record if you want to put your sound so from here if you click in the record button now you can see here, here is a record icon is appearing inside your timeline so and uh, the another is the animation duration so from here you can set uh, you can increase and decrease uh, the animation duration another is play multiple so you can play uh, the multiple okay so you can uh, use this one from here so it's also amazing so uh, we already covered all the uh, uh, important options in this uh, video so uh, hoping that you understand how can you use the any enemies animation maker if you have still any kind of confusion let me know in the comment section i already uploaded uh, several videos on enemies animation maker you can check my youtube channel playlist uh, i have already created a playlist uh, if you are trying to learn enemies animation maker that's it so guys hoping that you get few knowledge about the enemies animation maker still if you have any kind of confusion let me know in the comment sections i'll make a separate video on that topic also and if you get some quality content or if you learn something from this video please give me a like it will give me some motivation and i'll make a separate video if you have still any kind of confusion about the enemies animation maker so you can check my playlist also if you are really trying to learn enemies animation maker there i have already discussed about the character animation and the um, image animation text animation you can learn from my youtube channel so guys uh, share this video to among the people who are trying to learn enemies animation maker so I'll come back with another new video. Until that, goodbye. See you again.